Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. While there are no hard and fast rules about creating relational database structures, there are a few tips that you should try to follow when beginning database design. First, examine all current documentation used to collect and store the information that you wish to record in the new database tables. This step ensures that when you create your data tables and are performing your data modeling, that you're not leaving out a critical part of your database, which can often lead to frustrating periods of redesign when discovered at a later point in time. Also consider what the database will need to create in terms of reports and forms, and for whom. You should gather information from those who use the database that you will create. Next, when starting database design, try to use the entity relationship modeling that we've discussed. This can be a helpful first step in discovering how your table should be structured. It's also important to note that the way that you store data in a database is independent of how the users will input the data into the tables. Once we learn more about form design, this will become readily apparent. Now, when performing your data modeling, you may want to start first by listing the entities, or the subjects of the tables, in the database along with their properties or attributes, and then try to discover to which entities the attributes refer. Now, once you've accomplished this part, sketch the entities as tables, and find or create the primary keys needed for each entity. Sketch relationships between the tables, and list the type of relationship that the tables share. About 99% of the time, this will be a one-to-many relationship. After you have a preliminary sketch of your tables, you can then turn to normalization guidelines to assist you in analyzing the database structure for the relational soundness of design. These guidelines were created to assist the relational database designer create sound relational structures that do not break any of the fundamental tenets of relational database design. While they're not rules per se, you shouldn't violate one of the normalization guidelines without having a good reason for doing so. If you decide to do so, document your reasoning for making such a break. Relational databases that pass each one of the normalization guidelines are said to follow the form of the guideline. And while there have actually been many normalization guidelines proposed, many database designers find it is adequate to meet the normalization guidelines through the third or fourth form. Now the first normal form requires atomic or unique values at each column and row intersection in the entity table. No repeating groups, thus no item 1, item 2 column setups like you would have in a flat file. So you can't have repeating columns of the same information. That's breaking first normal form. Second normal form declares that every non-key column in a table must depend on the primary key. A table must also not contain a non-key column that pertains to only part of a composite or multi-column primary key. So for example, quantity here is the quantity of the item at the time of sale that was sold, not necessarily the quantity of just the item the amount, for example, is the amount of the item at the time it was sold, not just the amount of the item, for example. The third normal form dictates that no non-key column can depend on another non-key column. And this is very similar to the second normal form. We can't have a column of information that is an attribute of another non-primary key column within that table. Fourth normal form forbids independent one-to-many relationships between primary key columns and non-key columns. So as you begin your layouts and data modeling, it's a good idea to document your work as you create your initial designs. Correct violations of normal form or make conscious decisions to override them. Always document why you choose to make the changes that you do make. After you create your basic tables and relationships, review your design. Then create the database tables in Access and enter some preliminary or test data to see if your design works or how well it works. Reevaluate your design and fix flaws as required. Always document reasons that you decide to change the table design.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.